Hey everybody, welcome back. Now, today's video is going to be me opening these four Pokeball tins. Two of them, these two, are D21s, which means they should have, should, have Cosmic Eclipse in it. These two are much older. These are older tins which I've kept to one side for quite some time, but I've always been curious about what's inside and what packs they contain. Full disclosure, if Evolutions packs are in here, they will be going sealed and unopened back into my personal collection. Everything else will be opened. Um, but without further ado, let's just crack on and open up these tins. I, if I remember rightly, this is one of the older ones. This is uh, an A20, which is from a year or so ago. And that's an H19, so that's another one of them. So I'm gonna put those two off to one side. And I think we'll start with these two. So we'll go easy on this to start with. We'll just... There's one. And there's another one. So again, we're uh, on the hunt for Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic Eclipse is still one of my favourite sets from Sun and Moon. I think a lot of people really, really like it. So let's have a little look and see. Timer ball first. Yeah. All right. Meep. Let's put that off to one side. And we've got, ooh, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike. Now that's odd. Everyone else can see that? D21s, it looks like they have stopped putting Cosmic Eclipse. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little gutted. I'm genuinely a little bit gutted. But Evolving Skies, people, that's always going to be good. And we've got an opportunity to pull some alternate arts. And the quick ball is going to be what's this one here. See, look, this one, again, D21. We've got ourselves a Cosmic Eclipse. So I'll keep that for a little bit later. So this is kind of a cool setup. We have got such a variety of packs to actually open. I am very, very pleased with this. This is cool, this is very cool. Let's move the tins out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna zoom into this bad boy and we're gonna, we're gonna get this sorted. This is, I'm quite excited about this. This is a nice little setup. That's a good, good one. I'm gonna definitely save the Cosmic Eclipse last, purely because I just absolutely love Cosmic Eclipse. And then we'll work our way back towards Evolving Skies. Okay, so for Rebel Clash, we have ourselves an opportunity to pick a couple of gold cards. It'd be great to be able to pull the Gold Frost Moth or the Galarian Berserker, which would be so cool. I'm good for any rainbows. I, I'd dearly love to get uh, a rainbow rare for this set because I don't have many uh, cards. Two, three. I can't ever get the four that I need. Let's hope that's right. Let's hope that's right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, fire energy. We've got the Pelipper, speed energy, a beware, a stuffle, de evolved again, coughing, imp dim, shinxy, sandy gas, reverse hollow is a wingle, which is always nice, and Standard non hollow toxicity. This would be amazing if I can pull uh, the Chonka Chew. Everyone wants the Chonka Chew. I've never pulled any of the, the, the good cards from these packs, so code card peeps. Um, I really love the Rainbow Rare Chonka Chew just to give it some avid, avid? Some extra wallop. Um, Kakuna, Muji's, Sableye, Trubbish, Tynamo, Clovopus, Wubat, Talo, Reverse Hollow Meta. Ooh, okay, that's a nice little card. I quite like, I'll take that. 
honest to God, if I can pull some of the alternate arts from this set, I would be so chuffed. That Galarian Moltres that everybody loves, the alt art for that, that um, the Galarian Moltres V, I think, that's amazing. I would love to get my hands on the Zerora V alternate art because that is, again, incredibly beautiful. I'll, I'll take that. But I guess we've got a chance to see. Wish me luck. We've got electric energy, electric. Crabominable. We've got spiral energy. Honey. Grookey. Scorbunny. Aaron. Snowrunt. Snorrunt. Venipede. Reverse hol Hollow Cabalion. And. <laughs> Galarian Zapdos V. We've got a hit. And that's that's good. I can slip that into the folder with the, all the other ones very, very soon. Moving on to Fusion Strike. Now, I've got a chance to pull the Espeon VMAX, which is a card I'm very, very fortunate to already own. Um, I do know that I would dearly, dearly love to pull the Mew V um, alternate art, because that is just stunning. I have seen the code card to this pack, and I don't think we're going to get lucky. That's a bummer. Code card, sorry. There we go, gents, ladies. Well, there's still a chance we could pull something, so let's have a little look and see. Whew. Can you imagine if we got the Gengar VMAX alternate art? Can you imagine? Turtonator. Puku Muku. Schoolgirl. Mantine. Grubbin. A little Rotom. Smeargle. Carvana. Sydney Reverse. And a bog standard boring Axel Gore. I've just realised that um, Evolving Skies should have come before Fusion Strike, but you know, it's all good. I can get Moonbrion from this. I can get the Rayquaza VMAX alternate art, which is something that I could only dream of. I could get Sylveon VMAX. I could do with any of those. <laughs> all right, well, it's possible. Wish me luck if I can get anything. Let's look a little damaged over here. If I can pull anything out of this today, please give me some good stuff. Please give me some, I want some good stuff. Right, we have Pyroar, Flaffy, Ribombi, Pentacool, Zora, Zorua, Zoru, yeah him, Mareep, <laughs> Teddy Ursa, Sableye, Reverse Hollow, Thievul, and Bloody Nora. What's going on here? I'm getting some right trash today. Out of these ones, ones that really, really float my boat. Red and blue card. That's the one, the, the um, full art red and blue trainer card. That looks incredible. Rosa card. I still haven't got that one yet, but I would really like to pull um, Lily's Full Force because that's just a beautiful card. And it'll fit, you know, in general, I think I'd just go for any card that's a team up card with some of these Pokemon. There's your code card. And off we go. <laughs> now, if ever I wanted to get something good from a pack, please, please let it be from Cosmic Eclipse. Lana's Fishing Rod. But look at that. What a sweet picture, man. That's so good. Vaporeon. Absol. Grimer. Magnemite. Eevee. Flu Baby. Sneasel. Approaching it. Okay. Mallow and Lana. Reverse Hollow with a bog standard. <laughs> So here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Which one shall I do first? A20 or H19? Let's do... Let's do the dive ball. So this is an H19. I believe that there will be an evolution pack in here. Like I said earlier, if there is, 
I'm ever so sorry, but I'm going to be adding this to my collection because I do not own any sealed packs. Oh, let's have a look. Burning Shadows, Charizard time people, Lost Thunder, and a break point. Okay, so I don't have Lost Thunder packs, so this one will probably stay sealed. I'm going to push this to one side. Burning Shadows and break point. Old school X and Y. I'm not sure how much these are now value wise, but if it's if it's anything special, I will... Um, I'll let you know on screen. And now let's have a little look at this dusk ball. Look, it's been sealed so long that you can see the line on there. Oh, I am nervous. Oh, I can't get it open. Let's try and rip a bit. There we go. Right, what are we going to have? Oh, it's a little coin. Oh, cool. Check it out. Cracked ice Raichu coin. One I don't have. I'll keep that. Packs are... Evolutions! Yes! Okay, so Evolutions. I'm sorry to say, peeps. Is going back into my collection along with this Lost Thunder pack. I don't have either of these sealed. So I'm very sorry, but at least we know what packs were in an H19 and an A20 Pokemon team. So we have just these four packs to open. Which one shall I go for first? Breakpoint first, Burning Shadows last, Crimson Invasion in between. Right. Now, if I recall correctly, Breakpoint has an alternate art version of a Gyarados EX in it. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was from these packs. But there is a fair few from this set that I don't have. Um, I think there's a code card in this one, but I don't know if they have any relevance. Um, there's your code card. Uh, what is it? Three from the back? Four from the back? I think it's three from the back. So let's do three. We've got a Gyarados Spirit Link. Can everyone see that? All right. Professor Sycamore. Misty's Determination. Ratata. Scroopy. Pancham just rolling around in the grass. Awesome little cricket top. Oh, I've got a reverse hollow there. Petalil, Misty Determination in reverse, and pretty sick um, Luxray art there. Moving on, Crimson Invasion, guys. I know that um, Crimson Invasion has a whole bunch of GX cards in it. We've got the full art ones at the end, and there's a couple of rainbows there. There's a Gyarados GX, which would be a nice one to add to the collection. The Sil Valley GX, but I think I'd like the Lusamine Full Art because that's just an incredible looking card. So that's the one I'm hoping for on this one. Let's do three from the back on this particular one. Staravia, are we in view? There we go. Staravia, Psychic Memory, Aeselgore, Shellos, Dino, Alolan Geodude, a Remoraid. Aaron and his mate. Okay, Aaron and his mate. And uh, Miss Magus. And what have I done there? It's just the energy card. Okay, didn't do that one so well. But hey, energy. Forgot all about the energy. Okay, so two Tapu Fini packs of Burning Shadows. And they've been sat in there for a while. You can see, by the way, they're all twisted up. I am hoping that we get to pull something special. Any of the Charizards would be very much appreciated. I mean, that Rainbow Charizard GX would be quite something. And full arts 
course, some of those main characters like Guzma, Acerola, Sophocles, Wick, they're, they're all in there. Um, Kiawi's quite a cool one. And then you've got the, the token gold cards. But let's have a little look and see what we can get. Not much by the looks of it. <laughs> One, two, three, and these are four because this is from Sun Moon, so it should be energy. Fairy energy, the defunct fairy energy. So we've got Metapod, Lana, Electabuzz, Inkay, Dabin Duskull, Tynamo, Cutie Fly, Riolu. Forgot what these um, reverse patterns look like. That's kind of cool. Tynamo and another bog standard. I mean, my luck really isn't paying dividends, is it? Oof, last pack magic. Come on. Let's see if we can put ourselves something special. It's been a pretty uneventful opening, apart from landing the evolutions pack and the lost thunder pack. Let's see. Can we get lucky? Ooh! Looking good. Looking real good. Fingers crossed, guys. This card here. Please. Get rid of the fighting energy. Plumeria. Seedra. Wobbuffet. Dabbing Duskull. Esper, Morlol, Char, is this a sign? Porygon, <gasps> holy Mary guys, it looks like we have something. Okay, this is a reverse holo lunatone. And the final card. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a Tapu Fini GX, but do you know what? Considering what this opening has been like, that is actually pretty damn cool. I am chuffed. I'm so glad we got a hit. So there you have it, guys. We have opened four Pokeball tins, of which 10 packs were opened, with just these two staying sealed because I need them for my collection. Apologies to those of you that thought I might open them. Not a chance, not until I've got spares. But we did get these two hits. We got the Tapu Fini GX from Burning Shadows and the Galarian Zapdos V from Chilling Rain. So all in all, not a bad opening, but I suppose until the next one, I will see you real soon. Take care, guys.